This video will cover difficult questions regarding the topic of logarithmic differentiation. Question 1. Take natural logarithms of both sides. ln of x to the power of y squared equals ln of y to the power of x squared. Take y squared down. Then y squared times ln of x equals take x squared down. x squared times ln of y. Using the product rule, d dx of y squared times ln of x plus y squared times d dx of ln of x equals d dx of x squared times ln of y plus x squared times d dx of ln of y. Differentiate implicitly 2y times y prime times ln of x plus y squared times 1 over x equals 2x times ln of y plus x squared times 1 over y times y prime, then times xy on each side, then expand 2xy squared ln of x y prime plus second one, x is cancelled, y cubed equals, first one, 2x squared y ln of y plus, second one, x cubed y prime. Then we can rewrite as 2xy squared ln of x y prime minus x cubed y prime equals, 2x squared y ln of y minus y cubed. Take out y prime, we can factor 2xy squared ln of x minus x cubed equals 2x squared y ln of y minus y cubed. The final answer y prime equals 2x squared y ln of y minus y cubed over 2xy squared ln of x minus x cubed. Question 2. Take natural logarithms of both sides. ln of y equals ln of x to the power of x to the power of x. Then ln of y equals x to the power of x can go down. x to the power of x times ln of x. Differentiate implicitly. 1 over y times y prime equals, using the product rule, x to the power of x prime times ln of x plus x to the power of x times ln of x prime. 1 over y times y prime equals, I already explained the derivative of x to the power of x in question number 1 of the logarithmic differentiation beginner video. I will show you again. Let y equals x to the power of x, then ln y equals ln of x to the power of x. Then you can rewrite as ln of y equals x can go down, x ln over x. Then differentiate implicitly, 1 over y times y prime equals x prime ln over x plus x times ln over x prime. Then 1 over y times y prime equals 1, so ln over x plus x times 1 over x, which is 1. Then y prime equals y times ln over x plus 1. Then y prime equals y was x to the power of x times ln x plus 1. Then back to the original. This one is x to the power of x times ln over x plus 1 times ln of x plus x to the power of x times 1 over x. Then 1 over y times y prime equals, take out x to the power of x. Then we can factor ln of x times ln of x plus 1 plus 1 over x. Then y prime equals y times x to the power of x times ln of x times ln of x plus 1 plus 1 over x. y prime equals y was 
x to the power of x to the power of x times x to the power of x times ln over x times ln over x plus 1 plus 1 over x. The final answer, y prime equals x to the power of x to the power of x plus x times ln over x times ln over x plus 1 plus 1 over x. Question 3, we can rewrite as y equals sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x to the power of 1 over 2. Take natural logarithms of both sides, then we can rewrite as 1 over 2 ln of sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x equals 1 over 2 times using the logarithmic property ln of sine of x plus cosine of x minus ln of sine of x minus cosine of x. Differentiate implicitly 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over 2 times 1 over sine of x plus cosine of x times sine of x plus cosine of x prime minus 1 over sine of x minus cosine of x times sine of x minus cosine of x prime equals 1 over 2 times sine of x prime is cosine of x plus cosine of x prime is minus sine of x over sine of x plus cosine of x minus sine of x prime is cosine of x minus cosine of x prime is minus sine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x equals 1 over 2 times Make single fraction, cosine of x minus sine of x times sine of x minus cosine of x minus cosine of x plus sine of x times sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x plus cosine of x times sine of x minus cosine of x. 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over 2 times expand sine cosine minus cosine squared minus sine squared plus sine cosine minus sine cosine cosine squared plus sine squared plus sine cosine over sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x equals 1 over 2 times sine cosine minus sine cosine sine cosine minus sine cosine this is 1 and this is minus 1 the minus 2 over sine squared x minus cosine squared of x equals cancelled then minus 1 over sine squared of x minus cosine squared of x then we can rewrite as 1 over cosine squared of x minus sine squared of x 1 over y times y prime equals 1 over this one is cosine over 2x then we can rewrite as secant of 2x then y prime equals y times secant of 2x then final answer y prime is secant of 2x times y was this then square root of sine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x minus cosine of x. 
This is the last one. Take natural logarithms of both sides. Ln of f of x equals ln of g of x to the power of square root of g of x. Ln of f of x equals, take this down, square root of g of x times ln of g of x. Derive each side, d dx of ln of f of x equals d dx of square root of g of x times ln of g of x. 1 of f of x times f prime of x equals square root of g of x prime times ln of g of x plus square root of g of x times ln of g of x prime. 1 over f of x times f prime of x equals d dx of square root of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. Think of it as d dx of square root of u equals 1 over 2 square root of u times u prime. Back to the original. Now this part is u. 1 over 2 square root of g of x times g of x prime times ln of g of x plus square root of g of x times 1 over g of x times g prime of x. We can rewrite as f prime of x equals f of x times g prime of x over 2 square root of g of x times ln of g of x plus square root of g of x over g of x times g prime of x. Now, f prime of 1 equals f of 1 times g prime of 1 over 2 square root of g of 1 times ln of g of 1 plus square root of g of 1 over g of 1 times g prime of 1. Then f prime of 1 equals f of 1 is using this f of 1 equals g of 1 to the power of square root of g of 1. g of 1 is 4 to the power of square root of 4. Then 4 squared, which is 16. Times g prime of 1 is 2 over 2 square root of g of 1 is 4. Times ln of g1 is 4 plus the square root of g1 is 4 over 4 times g prime of 1 is 2 equals 16 times cancelled ln 4 is ln 2 squared over this one is 2 plus that one is 2 times 2 is 4 cancelled plus 1 f prime of 1 equals 16 times we can rewrite as 2 ln of 2 over 2 plus 1, then cancel. The final answer is 16 times ln of 2 plus 1. I hope this video has been helpful. This is the last of three videos covering logarithmic differentiation. Previous lessons are linked in the description bar below. If you have any questions, please leave them in a comment. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.